we're back in the trenches. Stickman trenches jumping into hard difficulty. You're gonna notice a lot of things have changed. But first, I wanna show off something that we've been working on. Now, a lot of people have been asking, Baron, what happened to Stickman trenches? What's new? Well, the research tree for one. So first off, let's go ahead and take some ground. Remember that Stickman Trenches is all about, you guessed it, trench warfare. Now, the research tree have, has been completely revamped, but there's sort of a meta progression in that in order to unlock all of these different technologies or weapons, and abilities, you've got to play the game and get experience, right? Now, I've been grinding for about an hour and I've got about 17,000 XP. So what I want to show today is the fully upgraded troop. So we bought combat boots to increase the unit speed, by body armor level one, and then the final upgrade is body armor level two. Now, the cool thing about that is it's going to change the look of the troops. So since we're actually fighting hard difficulty, we're actually gonna have to play this very, very carefully. Hard level difficulty AI is, <laughs> you guessed it, pretty dang difficult. So I've got all of my units, abilities, and vehicles that I wanna use in this game. The enemy, uh, you know what? We could go off in an early raid and get a few quick guys to, well, kill and build up our XP to try to get medals within the game. Because the meta progression, these are unlocked, and now every time I play this game in the future, these are unlocked. Now I still have to spend the medals when I'm in a game to unlock these, so that there's progression within each individual battle. Now the enemy's setting up a few troops. We're gonna go on a little bit of a trench raid here, and we just leveled up. Let someone a shotgunner. I feel like that is incredibly helpful, especially in the early days. Now, we're gonna hold this middle trench, but maybe doing an attack on their trench might not be a bad way to open this up. They just got a fully upgraded machine gun, so... Oh, and we're definitely taking the medal here. Although, unlocking the officer... Unlocking the officer gives me two medals. But, I wanna show you something. We're gonna take the medals crate, because remember that the big thing that we have going on is upgrading the troops. I wanna show you how visually the units are different. Now you notice none of these guys have any boots, right? No boots on the ground. These guys, no boots. These guys have boots because they got combat boots now. Wait till you see them in full body armor. It is pretty amazing. Now another cool thing is they're gonna be faster because they got combat boots and they're not getting stuck in the mud. So I'm gonna, oh man, I'm gonna have to sacrifice these men, but look at how much faster they are. I love it. Now, we're on hard difficulty, so the enemy base should run a development build. Normally, the base should recharge itself. I swear it never happens. This is the fun part about developing. Now, we're gonna need to save up three more medals to unlock body armor level one. Now, there's a lot of really cool things in here, including two that I'm very excited to show off. K bullets, increased sniper damage against tanks, and anti-tank grenades. Tanks are incredibly powerful, and the only direct counters to them are more or less, oh, definitely taking the medals, artillery or just tons of troops, and we want to kind of change that okay so now we're gonna give our men body armor level one as well as increase the spawn rate of our infantry since we're upgrading our infantry and we want to spam riflemen just to see how cool they are we're gonna want that now we need five medals to get to body armor level two so let's see how cool look none of these guys have body armor this guy has body armor so he's gonna be fast and increases survivability these guys body armor these guys no body armor. Uh, now, there aren't any surviving guys that don't have um, shoes, like I said. You know, it's, it's tough out here in the trenches, and many men died today, and many more will. Oh, gosh. That artillery hurts my soul. That is emotional damage. So at this point, we've got faster, stronger riflemen. A 20% chance to survive a shot that otherwise would kill them. It's a lot of metals to be put in this area. And grenades is also a really fun tech tree. I wanna show that off in another video. Grenade level two and then anti-tank grenades. I've got 4,500 XP, so I'm thinking at this point, I could either unlock reinforcement level two or the K bullets, and I'm thinking we're going reinforcement level two. Once I get that, we have a 40% faster spawn rate for infantry. Needless to say, we wanted to have a meta progression 
between all of your battles and then within each battle, the ability to kind of go different tech routes. Now, like I said in the past, Stickman Trenches is a very much a collaborative effort in terms of like how we steer this game and what we do next. So as we take this trench and actually move back, since I don't think, actually I may have been able to take that. Oh, there we go. The base is recharging. We've got room on this tech tree for more, and we know that we want to add certain technologies. Ideally, if we could, there would be a unique tree for each individual unit. We're not really sure about that right now, but we do know we want to add like one or two more columns and one for like artillery and maybe one for tanks. So if you guys have some ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. So now that we know how the research and tech is working, and here we go, we'll jump into normal on this new map, we'll be the Germans. And you can see that I unlocked these in the last one. I did not unlock any of these, and we do want to start saving up for them. I'll present to us a challenge. I'm going to use will attempt to use riflemen only. So I think the first thing that we need to do is do reinforcement level one. Now all the other metals need to be saved and these trenches are pretty tight. We're on normal difficulty on a river map. And I think if we take this, we'll be pretty well served. So I'm gonna get a machine gun, but the only unit that I want is riflemen. Now the enemy's bringing up, oh wow. We both fully missed that. That is a freak occurrence, but fortunately they weren't able to capitalize on that. Now the enemy is moving up. I definitely need some metals. They're attacking in small amounts. So basically, I don't want to unlock any guys. We'll JC, we'll, we're gonna take any currency and any metals unlocks that we can get. Now we've got one metal and we're gonna need at least two more to either get reinforcement level two or combat boots. And I think reinforcement level two might be the one that we wanna go for next. All right, I feel like the enemy's just, you know what? They presented us a good opportunity. We have a ton of men. They went flamethrowers, ooh, two flamethrowers and machine gun. I don't think any of these men are gonna survive this. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's exactly what we want. Our first metals crate and that gives us four. We're gonna take, uh, we actually have a ton of money. I'm thinking we're gonna start going down this track. It's a relatively long map and getting men to the front line is going to be all the more important. Although now that this is happening, I'm realizing maybe faster spawn rate. Look at this. We got guys with boots and guys without boots. Oh, one of the guys with boots took a bullet from the officer. So what we could do is try to farm some XP and go on what I call a raid, which means, you know, send in a wave of men. Man, they all got toasted. I don't even think that was necessarily worth it. We didn't get a lot of XP from that, but we're two minutes in and we can quickly replace our losses. The enemy's putting more money into specialized troops. You can see shotgunners, flamethrowers, they've got their machine gun nest right there. Now, looking at our XP bar right here, we're pretty close to the next level, so I'm definitely gonna send my men in. They got two flamethrowers again. Oh, yes. Metals, absolutely. All right, so what we need to do is take that. Now our men are gonna pop out with body armor. Body armor level one, look at that. One with boots and one with boots and the body armor. Oh, this is kind of a nasty attack. I'm hoping we can hold on. Flamethrowers are pretty nasty. Shooting them before they can fire? Well, that, that's good. That's good for us. Sending in another wave of attack. Ooh, we didn't even get a shot off that time. Luckily, we have a few men in the trench to deal with this officer and the shotgunner. Oop, they're sending in another attack. A shotgunner, a rifleman, and a musketman. A musketman, a flamethrower. What? Where did we go? The Revolutionary War. And the enemy is getting very aggressive right now. All right, we'll send in a little bit of a, an attack here. And we'll take the stars. Wow. Okay. Now, we need to take this one. As much as I want fully upgraded armor, we need to take reinforcement level two so we can get even faster men. We'll upgrade our trench and our machine gun since we have the money. Oh, snipers, cool. Well, we took them out of no man's land. These poor guys cannot be recalled. Once you're in no man's land, you either take the enemy trench or you don't come back. I was just about to say, if the enemy gets artillery and hits us pretty hard, we will lose our position. We got very fortunate that they tried to target our reinforcements. Every now and then the AI does that, 
And you know what? Thanks. Thanks, AI. We're gonna go on another push. Farming XP, we're at, what, 200? We got about a little over halfway there. Yeah, so at this point, it's just like spamming the one key. And every now and then sending in our medals for greater weapon technologies. And three more medals and we'll get fully upgraded infantry units. Now, you can also increase their accuracy by going scopes level one and two, and then K bullets if you're dealing with a lot of tanks. Fortunately, the enemy is not. And all the while playing, we are getting more XP, so I should be able to upgrade maybe K bullets. This should be enough to get us to the next level. And I'm hoping it gives us an opportunity to get mm, two. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Receive three medals, absolutely. Okay, so we have eight. I'm gonna turn one in, take the body armor. Now the enemy's coming, this is not good. This is, that is a massive attack. The machine gun's probably gonna do a decent job, but once those flamethrowers start going, oh my gosh, we barely held on. So now you're gonna notice our men, they've got, I mean, they just look really cool at this point. I love the way their body armor looks. Now, currently the AI cannot buy these upgrades. I'm thinking maybe on different levels of difficulty. We're trying to figure out like, what's the best way to incorporate these kind of technologies to the enemy? Like, is it sort of like random, little RNG? Now, hmm, do we wanna make our men more accurate? All right, we got fully armored men. Send them in. Ooh, that's, that's nasty. One of the guys gets shot in the river, but they're definitely surviving a little bit better. Uh, this is not good. Once again, oh, they took out our machine gun there. This is not good. Okay, they pushed us back. So at this point, it's gonna be a matter of, maybe we wanna increase accuracy. Advanced scopes for our men. Now we can quickly rebuild our troops. Oh, they're gonna send in a machine gunner, aren't they? I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this off, but I'm gonna try. I think it's worth it. If we can hit them before the machine gunner gets there, that's a tall order against this entrenched defense. Oh, they just got it. And they called in artillery. So they actually might send their men over the river. I wonder what the upgrade for a flamethrower would be. Like right now, that'd be absolutely devastating. But the rifleman only challenge is alive and well, <laughs> I guess. Oh, look at that. They're building up the support trench now. I'm thinking we could support our riflemen. Oh, oh we got out of there right before the artillery hit. We'll take the medals because I want that. We went from 10% increased accuracy to 20%. So at this stage, you can buy gas masks. There's upgrading to hand grenades and there's also K bullets. AT grenades are gonna look really cool though. Yeah, I think at this point, we definitely need a strong artillery push before, but I think right now my best chance is just spamming more men. I think we did take out their sniper. It's too bad we can't call in paratroopers. <laughs> All right, we're going. Hopefully, oh, they just reinforced it. Ugh. We probably had a chance before that. They called in direct artillery and then an artillery barrage. Can you believe these guys? They've gotta be pushing at some point, right? They did use up all of their artillery. And I mean, the amount of men I've lost is a lot. Oh my God, we didn't even kill a single guy that time. They're attacking us now. Are we gonna hold on? The flamethrowers are firing. Uh-oh. This is not good. Take the metals. And we're gonna need, oh God. Jeez, talk about barely hanging on. Now our base is not healing up. I guess that means we can also use poisonous gas. Now, they normally go pretty deep with officers, but we're gonna have to complement our troops, maybe with K bullets? I mean, we've got the XP, let's do it. Increase sniper damage against tanks. I don't, they don't have any tanks yet, but it's very possible they're gonna have them. Now, at this point in the game, the hard level difficulty is really putting us on the back foot, and I'm not feeling too good about it. Oh! Oh, my, my soul hurts. All right, if they just did that, I don't think it'd be wise to attack. We need to, hmm. That was a direct one, I guess, go for it, right? Why not? Took out a decent chunk. Oh, look at that, the sniper shot missed. We actually pushed through. These guys are messing things up. 
Get out of there. Look at that. We took out their machine gun nest. Oh, and of course they got a machine gun here. Now I'm not sure if the machine gun is in range of this trench. That'll be very interesting to see. Okay, I'm here in a tank. We don't have four metals, so we can't unlock K bullets. We do have precision artillery that we can use maybe once he gets like right here. Here we go. Let's see if I can't get them both. They're in the trench though. So that's a risky proposition. Oh, survive. Yes, okay, good. We survived, we'll get a machine gun to replace it. These guys should be able to absorb a lot of shots. Armor can deflect or block it. Average rifleman, come on. Come on, boys, you're almost there, dang it. Flamethrowers. I hear another tank. We will have this precision artillery before this cannon tank gets to our front lines. That makes me sleep better tonight. The river also slows it down. That is huge for us. And I'm gonna try to get a little two for one right here. I'm gonna take the metals. I need that. Summoning an artillery barrage is tempting, but metals is better. Let's do it now. Ooh. Oh my goodness. My, my soul hurts. All right, we're taking K bullets. So the idea here is we don't do grenades. We're not doing gas masks. Just, although they would look really cool with gas masks. All right, we need a solid trench there. I need more metals so I can unlock other artilleries to complement. Ooh, ooh. Okay, good, we survived that. One of the things that I wanna ensure is that these armor upgrades increase the men's survivability against artillery fire. Look at that. Those guys took that out. Now they weren't able to hold it because there is another machine gun. And at this point, I wish I could like right click this or something. So it just auto queue up rifleman. Oh, okay, we didn't lose our machine gun. We didn't lose too many men. I'm pretty happy about that. Can we kick these guys out? Oh, we can. And we can get out of here. Heck yeah. I would say that's a huge win. We'll take that tank out. Oh, you know what? I think we just took the middle ground. All right, I'm gonna call them up. Oh, that was awkward. So what I'm gonna do is hold this one until the machine gun gets here. Actually, screw that. We're taking this ground. It is ours now. We are back 10 or so minutes after that huge pushback. Do I hear a tank? I do hear a tank. Now, at this point, I don't know if we're gonna have this. Oh, wait, we have K-Bullets. Who am I kidding? All right, hold on. So K-Bullets increase sniper damage. <clears throat> that was my idea too. This is what I get for being dumb. So we don't <laughs> we have no direct counters because that is only for snipers. I, that was at the time. I don't. <laughs> it slipped my mind. Now, do we use precision artillery to soften up these trenches and go for a big push? Oof. Nope. There we go. That's the answer. Well, that's just tempting. 16 minutes in. Our fully upgraded riflemen. Oh my god, they just dominated that trench. The enemy base is defeated. We summoned 241 men. They killed 217 of them. That is wild. Now that being said, we did win the battle. And so at this point, and also by completing this map on normal, we unlocked another one. That's another part of the meta progression within the game. The game is part of Tacticon right now. It is on sale. So check it out, but let's see how much XP we got there. We got 5,496, almost enough to get hand grenades level two. That is going to be the next thing that I wanna do is show off to you guys anti-tank grenades. Now remember that the question of the day, other than have you bought this game and why not, is what other research and tech tree options can we bring in to Stickman Trenches? Now, I haven't showed off the game because I wanted it to be big the next time I did. So, can't wait to see you guys in game. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.